Hey everyone, I'm Tony. Hi, I'm Christine. And this is our first travel video that we do for YouTube. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about our trip to Europe. Yes. And our, uh, specifically Rome and even more specifically our trip to the Colosseum. So we thought we would start with some do's, don'ts, tips and tricks because when we were researching our trip, we really didn't find all the information that we needed uh, without spending hundreds of hours online. Yeah, a lot of hours reading on TripAdvisor, on YouTube, um, Yelp. Yelp, also looking at different vendors, but this is what we took away and we hope you guys will benefit from these tips. So let's start with the do's, right? The first one is we highly recommend that you buy your tour ahead of time. And this was a huge thing for us because we were able to avoid uh, the long lines. And very specifically, we went with the Roman guy. We did a lot of research and did a lot of review searches to find out exactly which one we wanted. And in the end, the Roman guy was the best fit for us. There's a lot of tour companies out there. I'm sure they offer great tours, but this spoke out to us the most when it came to the opportunities they offered that we'll talk a little bit more later on. And again, this is the best way to avoid the long lines. By booking a tour ahead of time, you walk up with your piece of paper, there's people flagging you down for your specific group, and you all walk into the Coliseum together. Yeah. And again, that for us was a huge time saver where we saw people, what would you say, like a half a mile? Yes, it is so crowded. I think the Coliseum is probably the number one attraction in Rome. Yeah. So crowded. Uh, do number two is pay more to see more and we very specifically paid more with the Roman guy and we got to see some really cool stuff. Yeah, we got to go down to the dungeons. Um, it's where they store the animals. The animals and the slaves used to be it housed. It was very, very cool experience and I think our tour and another tour were the only ones down there. Yeah, exactly. I think there was thousands of people at the Coliseum that day. And our tour with one other one from the Roman guy, from not Roman not guy. a different company. They combined us. And they combined us to go down to the dungeon. That was a really cool experience. And we didn't talk about the size of our tour. Yeah, I think there was only like 12 people. Yeah. Um, another area that we got to go on that we didn't see a lot of the tours get to go on is the highest level possible with a complete view of the Colosseum mm -hmm. from above. That's like when you're on Google or TripAdvisor and you see those amazing photos they were taken at that level. Exactly. And we got to go there. Exactly. And the position at the Coliseum where you do get to go, you can see the city views from almost 360 degrees. But uh, again, it was a highly recommended thing that we, we recommend for everyone that's going to the Coliseum. Pay more to see more. That's a big deal. It's worth it. Another do for us was to learn. Listen to the tour guide and just soak it all up. Yeah, and they'll answer any question you might have. And tell them a little bit about ours, our tour guide. Oh, we had Rafa. She was so nice. Rafa was the best. Very and, personal. And these people like live and breathe yeah. this stuff. So they have a passion for it. And I found that the tour guides that were asked questions and were more engaged gave us the best tour possible. If we went on a tour where the, the tour guide wasn't engaged, it was boring for everybody, the guests included. And she gave great history, like one of the history was like, to get people to go there to watch these fights at the Coliseum, they provided free food and free alcohol. And also she pointed out the different seatings. There was seatings for slavery at the time and there were seatings for women um, that had to sit in certain places. So a lot of ties to history um, that was pretty interesting. The tour guides are passionate about it and it was a cool opportunity yeah. for us to learn. When we got there, everyone gets a headset and you connect it to just one ear and you put the, uh, the receiver on your belt and it was cool. If somebody asked a question, Rafa usually repeated it back to everybody so everyone could hear it and then obviously answered the question. And she took a lot of pictures. If you wanted to take pictures, she would take one for you. And that actually leads us into our final do. Take your time. First of all, if you've paid good money to go see it, then you obviously are curious, right? Admire it. Take pictures. Ask questions. And the guides will give you plenty of time to look around. And I know for me, I made a special request to go see the gift shop. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we have a tradition when we travel. We usually buy something for a bookshelf. And Christine asked if we could go to the books, uh, the gift shop, and Rafa complied and, and took the entire group there. That was pretty cool. 
Um, and an, an important point is at the end of the tour, you can walk around and stay in the Coliseum if you don't want to join the tour for the rest of the city. And that was something nobody really told us about. And it's an option if you want to do that. And our particular tour, I don't know if we mentioned that at the beginning, it did come with the Palatine Hill and the form. So after we're done with the Coliseum, Rafa also walked us across the street to look at the form and the Palatine Hill. And everything was organized. She had her car. She walked us right through. Um, got a chance to stop for a restroom break and have some water. So that's why we loved the Roman guys. Tour yeah, we highly with endorse everything. it. And we highly recommend it. Now let's talk about some don'ts. And the first one is don't get pulled into the street vendors. So like Christine mentioned earlier, there's literally thousands of people waiting to walk into the Coliseum. Don't get suckered by the street vendors. And there's street vendors trying to sell you everything from fidget spinners to oh, yeah. flashlights, anything you can imagine. We recommend that you be careful and hold your stuff near because we did kind of yes. notice some pickpocketers while we were waiting for our tour to take off to the calls. Yes, and another don't is don't lose track of your group. Um, there are hundreds of groups walking around. It's very crowded. Some hallways are very narrow, so it's very easy to lose track of your group. It's a big place too. And one of the things we didn't know is outside the Coliseum where we're all waiting to walk in, it's huge and there's no law or order. It's just chaos. And so uh, we definitely recommend you don't lose track of who you're with or your group. The next don't is don't take your headset. I felt kind of bad about this yes. one. So we didn't know this, but those headsets that the tour guides give you, those are on lease and the tour companies have to give them back. We had an older gentleman that was lost from the group and we couldn't find him who still had his headset. And it's unfortunate because we heard that the Roman guy now has to pay, I think it was 110 euros just to replace the headset. And we know it's a small thing, but don't hold on to your headset, give it back. Another don't is don't be a tourist. Be mindful, you are not the only one at the Coliseum. <laughs> a lot of people have traveled very far to come here and paid a lot of money. So be respectful of others and the place that you're in. This is a historical place and the Italians are working really hard to restore the Coliseum. We saw a group of guys. painters. Yes. Yeah, so when we were there, they were explaining to us all the work that's going into the renovations. It's remarkable. They have before and after pictures they shared with us about the renovations and the cleanup. The air pollution in Italy is so bad that it's going to take seven years just to clean yes. the dirt off the exterior of the of the Coliseum. But without getting too far off the subject, don't litter. Be patient. There's literally thousands of people. Don't push and shove. You got to be mindful of how many people are there. And like Christine said, the, the cultural significance of this place, the historical significance of this place, don't be a tourist. Now let's move into the tips and tricks. We mentioned it earlier, but we're going to say it again. Book a tour. The Roman guy worked well for us. Yes. Doesn't mean it's going to work well for you, but we highly recommend it. Just know that it's expensive. We paid upwards of hundred US dollars each to take the full blown Roman guy tour. And also, we went in the summer, so it was hot, but we highly recommend you take water and food with you, the snacks. Um, it is hot, you are doing a lot of walking, lots of stairs, uphill walking. Now, Italy is great because they have these water fountains everywhere. Italians do not believe that you should have to pay for water. So if you just buy a water bottle, keep it for the day and you can just refill it. We, we drank that water it was on and clean, off and it was clean. It was cold. It was delicious. Yeah. Um, and it is a long tour. The one we booked was four hours plus and there is quite a bit of walking. So of walking. take food and snacks with you. It's going to be a long day. The next tip or trick is try not to carry too much with you. Like we said, there is a lot of walking and you want to stay comfortable. So don't pack too heavy in terms of camera gear and yes, all the stuff that yes. we take with us. And one of the big things for us was to wear comfortable shoes. And light clothes. Yeah, uh, we met a lot of couples that uh, gave us this tip early in our yes. trip was to not wear too much cotton because mm -hmm. yeah, cotton absorbs really well, but it doesn't dry really well. Mm -hmm. So they gave us the tip of wearing um, multi-weave clothing that 
that uh, wicks and dries real quickly. Yes. Another tip or trick is to go early. You can take your time taking pictures of the exterior yes. and it's earlier so it's not quite as hot and then you're not rushing to take your photos at the end of the tour. And um, here's another tips and trick. We actually took the bus, right? Yeah, it was a part of the city pass. There's a, there's a Roma pass that you can buy and it includes their metro system and their public uh, bus transportation system. We took the bus from our hotel. It's very easy. About it was great. Five minutes. It was a five minute drive. That's right. It was air conditioned. There wasn't a lot of people until we got closer. Yes. Once we got closer, the bus was completely full. But starting from our hotel, which was close to the Trevi Fountain, mm -hmm. it was a five minute bus ride and it was easy as pie. Super easy. And if you're staying a little outside of the city center, you can take the train. There's a major metro station stop right outside of the Coliseum. And you can see a lot of tours do utilize that. The next tip or trick could be that if you don't have in the budget, to spend for a private, not private, but to spend for a tour like we did, you can buy your ticket from the Coliseum website, enter the Coliseum on your own, and download Rick Stevens' tour guide, which we heard is really, really good. So that's a way that you are getting some type of tour and educational information, but you are not spending as much as we did. It's on a budget, right? If you're on a budget. Or if the Coliseum is not a big priority for you. Exactly. I think that's a good point. Yeah. If it's not a big priority to you, then just download this, listen to it while you're walking around, really sort of enjoy it for yourself. Mm -hmm. For us, the tour work, but it may not work for everybody else. And the last tip or trick should be the most obvious, but uh, I didn't even take our own advice. Yes. Wear sunscreen. It should be obvious. We went in late May to the Coliseum and it was really hot and I didn't wear sunscreen and I got fried and I didn't wear a hat either. Take sunscreen, take a hat, take lots of water. We even made the mistake that day, we threw our water bottles away and like we mentioned, we went to the gift shop to buy a souvenir and they had a big sign, no more water bottles, they sold out. The entire Coliseum gift shop was sold out That's of water. That's how hot it was. So like Christine mentioned earlier, they have the water fountains everywhere outside the city. You could just refill it over and over with clean filtered water. So sunscreen and water. So this is our first video on our travel channel and we'll be sharing more with you as we go, but we really wanted the Coliseum to be the first one because of how much we enjoyed it. So be nice to us, okay? <laughs> and how much we really enjoyed Rome. Uh, you could find other videos on the channel from our previous trips. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this that's going to be uploaded regularly. And we'll share a lot of the links that we've discussed today in the description below. But for the uh, first video, that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Bye. everybody. Thank you.